Hey, my name is Steve Yallo. I'm a travel vlogger from the United States and I'm currently traveling around the country of Sri Lanka. And if you are not already familiar, this country recently faced a series of devastating terrorist attacks. A series of bomb attacks in the country of Sri Lanka, an island nation off the coast of India. 290 people are now known to have died. Authorities say the majority of the eight bombings happened in the capital city of Colombo. It has now been one month since these attacks and I want to share what it's like here from the perspective of a foreign traveler. I was already planning on visiting Sri Lanka before the incidents and a lot of my family members and friends advised me not to come when they heard about what happened but I decided to continue with my plans and visit Sri Lanka anyway. Upon arriving, one of the first things I noticed was the heightened security. And in fact, at the airport in Colombo, the taxis were not even allowed to drive onto the property. So leaving the airport, I had to walk to the street to get a ride, which really wasn't a big deal because it was only about 100 meters away. But throughout my travels, I've noticed a lot of intense security checkpoints and checks and it actually has been making me feel safe since everyone's subject to searches and I, I appreciate this. And my deepest condolences goes out to all the families who were affected by the attacks with the loss of family members and everyone injured in these attacks. But it has been much more than just physical damage, injuries and deaths that have been affected by the attacks. The tourism industry has taken a huge hit here in Sri Lanka. As I've been traveling around, I've been sharing a lot on Instagram about what it's like to travel here, and I've been getting messages almost every day from people who have been asking me what it's like here, who have had trips planned and are considering not coming here. And I just want to touch upon this right here. Obviously, there have been many warnings from governments, foreign governments like the United States and Europe, telling their citizens not to travel to Sri Lanka. But I just want to give my perspective and talk about what it's really like here right now in this current situation. Obviously, I feel so bad for all of the small business owners who have been affected by this because so many people have canceled their trips. I've heard there's been a decrease in tourism of about 90% and that is crazy and a lot of businesses and a lot of locals rely on tourism as an income and then come Easter all of a sudden all of their clients all of their business has come to a halt and it's really sad and that's one perspective but I just want to give another really interesting perspective as a traveler because now coming here there are not a lot of tourists so where you'd go to places that are normally very crowded and busy, there's no one there. So it's really unique from the perspective of a traveler because you're getting to experience these amazing places without the crowds. And besides the crowds, prices have dropped significantly because a lot of accommodation and tour companies are offering massive discounts because no one's coming here. So honestly, People keep asking me, oh, should I come? I, I think I'm gonna cancel my trip. To me, honestly, I think now is the best time to visit Sri Lanka. Things are cheap, there's not huge crowds, so you get amazing places to yourself. And yes, it's safe. Like I said in the beginning, there have been security checkpoints everywhere, and security is at an all-time high with military watching out everywhere. So I feel very safe. Obviously, that's the big concern for many people, but it's just, it's a paradise. Sri Lanka is built for tourism now and there is infrastructure here to where it's comfortable to travel and no one's here. Guys, if you're thinking, if you're considering about visiting Sri Lanka, I highly suggest coming here now. And if you have plans in the future, come here sooner. Obviously, you know, tourism is going to pick back up within a few months and from a, a year from now, I'm, I'm sure this will all be forgotten and tourism will be right back to where it was. But it's, it's so unique to travel here right now. And I don't want to just tell you this myself, but I also want to share the opinions of other travelers who are here right now as well. Yeah, we feel safe. No, there's been no moment where we haven't felt safe. Everyone's getting on with what with their normal lives. Yeah, we definitely feel safe. Like day to day, it's, it's yeah. totally safe. Obviously we were like a bit apprehensive, especially when our country kind of tells you not to come and putting out all these warnings and obviously there's a lot of news flying around but it doesn't necessarily feel like that's reflected in the situation in Sri Lanka that we've experienced. So obviously we've had 
you know, a lot of security checks when we're getting taxis from places or checks on the train. Um, but I think that makes you feel more safe. There's like the presence of the police and the army and as a tourist it kind of is quite comforting to know that they kind of watching out for everyone really. Sri Lanka is such a beautiful place. It's so peaceful, the locals are so nice and um, it's paradise. I feel safer than being in London. In Sri Lanka in general, I felt so safe all the time. But because these things happen everywhere in the world. For me, like from Sweden, when it happens in Stockholm, for example, it's not like we see Sweden as an unsafe country where you shouldn't travel. There's no reason not to come here. I think it's like the media makes a big... Of course, it is a big deal, and at least as I perceive it, I don't think it's like you are likely to be in harm's way. We've been really, really welcomed by all of the people. Um, it's been really easy to get around everywhere. We've like asked for suggestions or help with things. People are always really like willing to do that. I think at the moment we're getting a kind of heightened version of Sri Lanka because there's not too many people here, um, which in some ways is quite nice because I imagine before it was very really busy, whereas now it's just, um, I think, kind of reverted to what it used to be, which is obviously a shame, but also quite good for us. But here where we are right now, uh, totally safe and yeah, we also yeah. enjoy the benefits of not having tourists around. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a big perk, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, like, things are, are cheaper and, uh, and and all that good stuff. Yeah, almost going in the water for surfing, you know, yeah. things are cheaper. It's feels more spacious. Yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, beautiful country, amazing food, um, and just really welcoming people. Honestly, Sri Lanka is such an amazing country to travel. I am actually sad that I have to leave in about a week and a half. <laughs> I don't want to leave. This place is amazing. When it comes to giving a review of a country, I have a few different criteria that I like to measure. One being the nature, the landscapes, and here in Sri Lanka, <laughs> it is beautiful. Right now, I am in the southern part of the country and the beaches are amazing. It's very popular for surfing. It's so beautiful and there's jungles that meet the beaches. It's, it's really unique. And also, if you travel a few hours up north from here, you're in the mountains and it's incredible. There's tea plantations and waterfalls everywhere. It's just so beautiful and to travel is really easy the tourism infrastructure here is very built up plenty of buses and trains to easily travel throughout the country that's another space which I, I rate uh, countries on is is the the ease of travel it's very easy to travel here so that's another very more points for Sri Lanka in that category another really important thing I review countries on are the people and here in Sri Lanka, the people aren't just nice. They go out of their way to make you have a good time. They are very prideful of their country. So when they see a foreigner, they, they want to give the foreigner a, a positive perspective of their country. So people are just so welcoming here. I feel very welcome. And also another really big positive thing about the people is, is the language because English is very wide spoken here. So you're able to connect with locals on a deeper level than as opposed to a lot of other countries where English isn't really spoken that much. So it's nice because you're able to hold a conversation with someone and actually get to know people. And it's, people are just so friendly. Everyone's willing to talk to you. And it's really funny because I'm driving a tuk-tuk around. So people look at me like I'm crazy. Like, what is this white guy driving a tuk-tuk around? Because I don't think many people do that. So it's pretty funny. And one of the last categories that I like to review about countries is the food. And here in Sri Lanka, oh, the food is amazing. I am in heaven with curries and rice and vegetables and fruits and oh. Every day is just, is, is a new spice. All the spices here. It's, my taste buds are thanking me every day. Thank you, Steven. Thank you for putting this amazing food in my mouth. And aside from food, most things are relatively affordable here. And like I said, right now, it's extremely affordable because so many businesses are offering discounts because they want your business. And, and unfortunately, they're taking a huge hit, which 
is very sad for the local businesses and all the all the companies that are involved in the tourism industry but for tourists you should totally take advantage of this right now because it's not going to be like this forever so overall my message to you if you're considering visit Sri Lanka is yes it is safe and yes you should travel here right now I will definitely come back here also I've been filming for the past three weeks and I'm gonna be sharing uh, an extensive series with multiple episodes and really just showcasing what it's like to travel here so I would love to bring you along on that adventure if you are not already I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you can join all of these adventures and follow the journey uh, for now I would really appreciate if you click that like button and I'm gonna go continue traveling around here yeah. and you can expect my Sri Lanka travel vlogs in a few weeks it's gonna take me some time to edit so hold on tight but I'm gonna put a lot of work into making these really really fun really great videos so you have that to look forward to soon until then I'll see you in the next vlog peace <laughs>